Hey everyone, this is Jahangir, your math coach for British Curriculum. You are most welcome to February March 2023 at Maths Paper 2 Video Solution. Thanks for subscribing this channel and if you have not subscribed yet, then please subscribe now. Like and share for my motivation and good maths content in the future. I have already solved February March 2023 other math papers whose links are provided in the description below. You can watch the video and download unsolved paper which you can practice. Now let's start add maths paper 2 video solution. So as you can see here this is February March 2023 and this is for 2 hours and this is for additional mathematics paper 2. This is for 80 marks. These are some formulas. Now this is your question number one. So on the axis below we have to sketch this graph. So I would like to explain over here how to sketch this. Please check. First of all we should try to draw y equals cos x. Okay. So y equals cos x graph is this. This is 0. This is pi over 2. This is pi. This is pi over, uh, this is 3 pi over 2 and uh, this is 2 pi. This is y equals cos x only. Now we should try to draw y equals cos 2x. When you try to draw y equals cos 2x then it will shrink right and the period, period will be pi for that. So your graph is like that. But here, instead of pi over 2, it will be pi over 4. This is pi. This will be pi over 2. This will be 3 pi over 4. And this will be pi. Okay. Now, I have to draw 4 cos 2x. Now, try to draw y equals 4 cos 2x. So, now your graph will be like this. But this time it is minus 4, 2 plus 4. This is pi over 4. This is pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 4. And this is pi. And finally, we have to draw y equals mod of 4 cos 2x. So now if you apply y equals mod of 4 cos 2x, then same graph will be there. The only thing is you have to take reflection here, which is below x-axis like that. So our graph is like that here, then here, then here, then here, and it goes like that. So this is zero, it will be plus four. Here I already told you that's pi over four, then this is pi over two, this is three pi over four, and this is pi and it goes on. Okay, now we have to draw here. Oh, we have to draw only from mm, 0 to pi, right? So we have to only draw from 0 to pi. So you can check here, 0 to pi. So 1, then this curve, and then this. See, this is this curve, then this, then this, right? So I hope you understood. We have to draw only uh, till this, till this only, which I have drawn over there. Okay, so I hope you understood. Now come to the next question. Next question says, do not use calculator in, a, in this question and simplify, give your answer with rational denominator. Okay, so this is square. So this is x square root 11 is square, two root three minus one whole square. This is x square, root 11 is square is 11. Now two root three minus one whole square, which will be 12 minus four root three plus plus. 1, 12 plus 1, 13, minus 4 root 3. Now we have to rationalize. How will you rationalize? 13 minus 4 root 3. Just write 13 plus 4 root 3 over 13 plus 4 root 3. Okay, combine this and combine this. 11x squared, 13 plus 4 root 3. And this is a minus b times a plus b. So this is a square minus b square. So 11x squared, 13 plus 4 root 3. And a square minus b square. So 169, 13 squared is 169. 4 root 3 squared is 48. So just calculate, you will get uh, 11 over 169 minus 48. If you calculate, you will get 1 over 11 and x squared in the top and 13 plus 4 root 3. Now write all constant terms together, 1 over 11 
times 13 plus 4 root 3 x square there is no irrational number in the denominator so only rational number in the denominator now this question number third that says uh, solve the inequality so just to square both sides 5x plus 4 whole square 2x minus 3 whole square now shift this uh, shift to left side so now this is a square minus b square like this a square minus b square which is a minus b times a plus b we know that so this is 5x plus 4 minus 2x minus 3 and 5x plus 4 plus 2x minus 3 so 5x minus 2x which is 3x 4 minus minus 3 plus 7 and 5x plus 2x 7x 5 4 minus 3 which is 1 now after that you have to you have to plot these roots so here you will get minus 7 over 3 and from here you will get mm, minus 1 over 7 okay after that if you put any value in this expression if you put any value in this expression which is greater than minus 1 over 7 you will get positive values if you select any value between minus 7 over 3 to minus 1 over 7 like uh, mm, suppose minus 2 yeah minus 2 will come in this and if you put over here you will get negative number and then again if you select any value which is smaller than minus 7 over 3 for example minus 10 then still you will get positive value so this expression is positive it means above x-axis this expression is negative it means below x-axis this expression is positive it means above x-axis now we have to look for look for this expression when it is less than zero i mean negative so negative is this portion when x is minus 7 over 3 so minus 7 over 3 to minus 1 over 7 so answer should be minus 1 over 3 to minus 1 over 7 and we have to keep our this in uh, this equality sign as well because in the question it is given now question 4 says y equals 6 square 5x minus 10 square 5x over cos x so this is just a bulky term but if you use this result 1 plus 10 square theta is 6 square theta so 6 square theta minus 1 is 6 square theta minus 10 square theta is always 1 so 6 square 5x minus 10 square 5x is 1 so 1 over cosec 5x which is sine 5x so simply we have to integrate sine 5x so sine 5x integration is minus cos 5x over 4 and just put limit 0 to 5 pi over 5 so minus 1 over 5 here cos 5 times pi over 5 minus cos 0 minus 1 over 5 this is cos pi cos pi is minus 1 cos 0 is 1 so minus 2 times minus 1 which is plus 2 over 5 now do not use calculator in this question okay i will not use show this is a factor oh so x minus 1 so just put x equals 1 in this if it is 0 then yeah it will be a factor so 1 q minus 2 1 square minus 19 1 plus 20 it is 0 so yes this is a factor hence find as a product of linear factors so just find, factorize this so i will divide this by x minus 1 because it is a factor so x cube over x like here x cube over x which is x square so i will write x square here x square times x which is x cube x square times minus 1 which is minus x square now i will subtract when i will subtract it is 0 and minus 2x square minus minus plus x square so it is minus x square then minus 19x minus x square over x minus x minus x times minus minus x times plus x which is minus x square minus x times minus 1 which is plus x when i subtract minus x square minus minus plus x square it is 0 Can, i mean cancel 9x minus x it is 19 minus 19x minus x minus 20x and this plus 20 over here minus 20x over x which is minus 20 minus 20 times x minus 20x minus 20 times minus 1 plus 20 now subtract 0 so i got this one it means x cube minus 2x square minus 19x plus 20 can be written as the product of this and this so x minus 1 times x square minus x minus 20 just factorize this so x minus 1 here so minus 20 can be written as uh, minus 5 times 4 so factor will be x minus 5 and x plus 4 so just we are able to write in terms of product of its linear factors so this will be the answer x minus 1 times x minus 5 bracket x plus 4 hence find the exact solution of this no problem whenever you are getting this kind of question then always try to 
understand that this is linked to the previous question. So here, see, th this is x cube. Instead, you have something else, e to the power e to the power 3y. If you consider e to the power y as x, so here you can write e to the power y whole cube minus 2 times e to the power y whole square minus 19 e to the power y plus 20 equals 0. Right, 3y you can write e to the power 3y you can write e to the power y whole cube now e to the power y was x so just put x here so it is x cube now minus 2x square minus 19x plus 20 already we factorized over here so we got the factorization just solve then here you will get x equals 1 x equals 5 x equals minus 4 x was e to the power y uh, i need to find y so here so here x was e to the power y right so here e to the power y equals 1 e to the power y equals 5 e to the power y equals minus 4 so here y equals ln 1 here y equals ln 5 and here not possible because e to the power y is exponential which is cannot be minus 4 so not possible from here and y equals ln 1, it means y equals 0 and y equals ln 5. So 0 and ln 5 will be the answer for this case. Now a part that says a geometric progression has first term 64 and the common ratio 0. 0.5. That's fine. Find the 10th term. That's a very simple question. Un is a times r to the power n minus 1. A is 64.5 to the power 10 minus 1. 64 times 0. 0.5 to the power 9. So 1 over 8, just calculate. Find the sum to first 10 terms. So Sn formula, A times 1 minus R to the power N over 1 minus R. A is 64, 1 minus 0.5 to the power 10 over 1 minus 0 0.5. Just use calculator to get the answer. S infinity, S infinity is A over 1 minus R. A is given to you, that's 64, R is 0 0.5. Use calculator to get 128. Now B part, that says uh, an arithmetic progression is such that Mm, S20 minus 400 is twice of S10. U1 ratio U6 is 1 ratio 5. Find some of the first three terms. Okay, so Sn formula is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So S20 will be 20 over 2, 2a plus 20 minus 1d. Then minus 400 you can check. And twice of S10 is here. 2 times S10 is 10 over 2, 2a plus 10 minus 1d. 2 and 2 you can cancel. So 20 over 2 that's 10. So 10 and 2a plus 19d here and this minus 400 i took to right side plus 400 and 2 and 2 cancel so 10 is here and 2a plus 90 now what i did i i have divided by 10 so divide by 10 here divide by 10 here divide by 10 here 10 10 cancel so 2a plus 19d 10 10 cancel 2a plus 90 400 over 10 that's 40 now 2a and 2a you can cancel 19d and 90 so it's just shift to left side 19 D minus 90 which is 10 D and the 40 so D is 4 so now D is 4 after getting D we can use this result the u1 ratio uh, u1 over u6 is 1 over 5 so u1 is a and u6 is a plus 5 D or a plus 6 minus 1 D which is 5 D now uh, 5 a now cross multiply 5 a equals a plus 5 D now a shift this side Left side, I mean 5a minus a, that's 4a equals 5d. 4a equals 5 times d, d is, is still 4. Now, 4 and 4 cancel, a equals 5. So now we have a5 and uh, d, we have 4. We have to find s3 because it's written here, find sum of first three terms. s3 is uh, n over 2, like 3 over 2, 2a plus 3 minus 1d. So that's 3 over 2, 2 times a, that's 5. And... Uh, d uh, 3 minus 1 times d that's 4 2 times 5 10 10 plus 8 18 3 over 2 times 18 that's 27. now come to the question number seven that says variables x and y are such that y equals 1 plus cos square x over tan x use differentiation to find the approximate changes in y as increases from as x increases from pi over 4 to pi over 4 plus h okay so x changes, okay? So delta x will be pi over 4 plus h minus pi over 4. So delta x is h. Okay, that's great. 
We know this result change in y equals dy over dx times change in x. So change in y. The important part is dy over dx. That's a very, very, very important stuff over here to find dy over dx because here we you have to apply quotient rule which is u over v dash is u dash v minus u v dash over v square. I mean first upper function differentiation lower as it is lower as it is sorry upper function differentiation lower as it is minus uh, upper as it is lower differentiation over lower square. So 1 plus cos square x over tan x we have to differentiate that. Okay, so now u dash. Okay, this is this is my u and this is my v. So one plus cos square differentiation. One differentiation zero. Cos square differentiation is two cos x, and cos differentiation is minus sine and tan as it is. Okay, so uh, here u dash v. Okay, so this is this is u dash and this is v minus. This is u and this is v dash. Now u is 1 plus cos square, you can check here, which is u v dash over v square, right? So 1 plus cos square as it is, and tan x differentiation is 6, tan x differentiation is 6 square, and tan x whole square, like v square here. Now it's very simple. Now here what we can do, this tan you can write sin x over cos x, and cos and cos you can cancel. So sine times sine, sine square, and minus 1 times 2, so minus 2 sine square you will get from here. Now 6 square times 1, you will get, okay, or minus here, and 1 plus cos square times 6 square. So minus 2 sine square, and 6 square times 1, which is minus 6 square, 6 square times cos square, which is 1, so minus 1 here. And now I will take minus outside, so I got 2 sine square plus 6 square x plus 1 over tan square x. Now, this delta x, already I found h, so just replace this delta x by h, so h you will take. So this is my change in y. Now, if I solve further, then also I can solve, but uh, I did not find mark scheme of this paper, so I am not able to check from where and up to what step we have to leave this. So if you want to solve further, which we can solve, minus 2 and this like minus outside so this is 2 sine square x and uh, 6 square is 1 over cos square x and this is 1 and tan square x is sine square x over cos square and again outside is h so delta y is now what i'm gonna do here i will i will write cos square here, cos square here, cos square here, cos square here. So minus is outside, 2 sine square x, cos square x, plus 1, plus cos square x, over cos square, and divided by sine square x over cos square, then times h, and this delta y should be here. Now, what I'm going to do here, this delta y is minus 2 sine square x cos square x plus 1 plus cos square x over cos square, then times sine square x over cos square, you can write cos square x over sine square x and then times h. Now, cos square and cos square, you can cancel. So finally, you can write delta y is minus 2 sine square x times sine square x times cos square x plus 1 plus cos square x then times h over sine square x. So just I left here and I also explain how to solve further. Now, if you want to solve further, then again, you can take cos square x and cos square x, okay, common, and then again, you can write something. Okay, now come to B part that says y equals 1 over x minus 3, 1 over x minus 3 whole cube, then 
show this can be written as in this form. So that's fine. Y is X minus 3 to the power minus 3. Then find dy by dx. So minus 3 will come here. Minus 3, X minus 3 to the power minus 4. Now if you differentiate again, because we need to find d2y over dx square as well. So again, write minus 4 here. So minus 4 times minus 3, which is plus 12. X minus 3 to the power minus 5. So we have dy over dx this and d2y over dx square. You can write x to the power minus m as 1 over x to the power m. So 12 over x minus 3 to the power 5. So we have y, we have dy by dx, we have everything. So just substitute y, you will write 1 over x minus 3 whole cube. Then minus dy by dx, so you have to write this here. So minus and minus 3 over x minus 3 to the power 4 and minus 1 over 3, which is here. And uh, you write this, so minus 1 over 3, 12 over x minus 3 to the power 5. So 1 over x minus 3 whole cube, minus minus plus 3 over x minus 4 to the power 4. And uh, 12 over 3, that's 4, so minus 4 over x minus 3 to the power 5. Now this is power 3, power 4, and power 5. You can take power 3 common. So 1 over x minus 3 to the power 3 common. So here you will get 1. Here you will get 3 over x minus 3 to the power 1 because power 4 was there and 3 I have taken common. And minus 4 over x minus 3 to the power 5. But 3 is outside, so 2 will be here. Now I'm going to solve this. So how will I solve? I will write uh, x minus 3 here and x minus 3 here, right? So that I can combine this. So x minus 3 plus 3 and over x minus 3, 3 and 3 cancel. Now this is x minus 3 whole squared. This is x minus 3. So again, I will write x minus 3 here and x minus 3. So x times x minus 3 and this is x minus 3 whole square, x minus 3 whole square. So which is in, uh, which you can see here. Now you can combine this. So x square minus 3x and this minus 4. And now you can combine these two. So numerator part will be x square minus 3x minus 4 and denominator will be x minus 3 to the power 3 times x minus 3 to the power 2. So if you combine it will be power 4. So we have proved same result. Okay. Now come to the next question, which is question number eight that says function f, which is five minus two e to the power minus x. So actually I tried to draw this curve over here. Uh, actually we have to draw right here. We have to, we need to draw that. By the way, I need to explain you e to the power x. So when we need to find y equals e to the power minus x, then we can draw this curve, okay? And this side x is greater than equals to 0. So your range is here it is 1. So 0 to 1, right? So e to the power minus x range is 0 to 1. 1 you can get where 0 you will never get because it will never touch x-axis. It will be closer to x-axis but not touching. So e to the power minus x range is 0 to 1. Uh, then we need to form this function. So apply by minus first minus sign so inequality will change minus 1 to 0 then apply 2 then add 5 you will get minus 3 to 5 okay so range is uh, range of fx is 3 to 5 so domain is domain of f inverse x is 3 to 5 by the way we have another method as well to find um, a range we have we can put here x greater than equal to 0 right it means we can put x 0 to infinity so when you put 0 over here, you will get 5 minus 2 e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3. That's great. But when you put infinity over here, then this is 5 minus 2 e to the power minus infinity. So e to the power minus infinity is 0. So 5 minus 0, you will get 5. So what we got? 3 to 5, right? We got 3 when we exactly put 0. So you will get 3 to 5 because infinity is not a real number. So 5 will five will also you will not get as a real number. So 3 to 5 range. So that's how you will get or slowly you can form this function and then you can get range. So by the way, a range of fx is 3 to 5. So domain of f inverse x is also 3 to 5. Now solve f of f inverse x is root 5x minus 1. So f of f inverse x, we know that's always x. So x equals root of 5x minus 4 is square both sides. Get x square equals 5x minus 4. Take everything to left side. Get quadratic equation and then solve x equals 1 and x equals 4. Now we have to also check that f in f x domain is x greater than 0. So both are greater than 0. And domain, like this is root of 5x minus 4, right? So 
So inside root, everything should be positive. So 5x minus 4 should be greater than or equals 0. x should be greater than or equals 4 over 5. Right? x is greater than 4 over 5. It means 0 0.8. So x, x should be greater than 0 0.8. So 1 and 4 both lie in this condition. So answer is 1 and 4 both. Now on the axis, I sketch the graph of y equals fx. Hence, I sketch the graph of y equals f inverse x. Show clearly point. Okay, that's fine. First, we have to draw y equals fx. Mm -hmm. So I have already drawn a step by step. So 5 minus 2 e to the power minus x. Actually, I have to draw 5 minus 2 e to the power minus x. So this is y equals e to the power minus x. Okay. Then I applied minus 2 here. Then when you apply minus 2, then it will be like y equals minus 2 e to the power minus x reflection with respect to x axis and it is intersecting at 0 comma 2 it will intersect at 0 comma minus 2 okay that's fine now i will add plus 5 when i will add plus 5 then this graph will shift upward direction by 3 by 5 units so first 2 unit here and then 3 unit above so this is 3 so this will be 0 comma 3 okay okay great so now I got that. So this is my curve, which you can see here. See, here, I, I should, oh, okay, yeah, here. This is my curve. Okay. Now, we already know that uh, range is always three to five. Already we found range three to five. So this one, now we have to draw image of F inverse X. So you know that FX, and f inverse x both are mirror image with respect to y equals x line so that's why i have drawn y equals x line which you can check and i'm trying to draw image so this part image is this part and this part image is this part okay so here it's horizontal line 5 here it's vertical line 5 it is 0 comma 3 it will be 3 comma 0 so if this is your y equals fx then this will be y equals f inverse x so show clearly positions of any point where your graph meet the coordinate axes and the position of any asymptotes. Yeah, so asymptote of fx is, which is y equals 5, and asymptote of f inverse x, which is x equals 5. Asymptote is a line which is about to touch your curve at infinity. Or you can say asymptote is a tangent which is not a real tangent. It is a tan imaginary tangent which, or you can say your line is about to touch your graph at infinity or after a long 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 distance so that is and that is asymptote okay what we need to find now oh here i try to find f inverse also because here i need okay that's why so fx is 5 minus 2 e to the power minus x x greater than or equals 0 now y 5 minus 2 e to the power minus x. Now I need to find x as a subject. So I have to rearrange only. So shift this side, y this side, 2 e to the power minus x, 5 minus y, divide by 2. Then apply ln. When you apply ln here and ln here, then minus x will come. So minus x and ln 5 minus y over 2. Now x is minus ln 5 minus y over 2. And uh, f inverse x is yeah, now x is f inverse x and minus ln 5 minus x over 2. So I got this or you can write f inverse x as, you know, this log property. If you have minus log a over b, you can write log of b over a. So this minus, because of this minus, we can write ln 2 over x, ln 2 over 5 minus x we can write. Okay, and this is f inverse x, uh, so domain is 3 to 5. Okay, so function g is defined where domain is 0 to 0.2 and gx is 3 over 1 minus x. Mm -hmm. So f inverse gx. So f inverse x is ln 2 over 5 minus x, where x is 3 to 5. Just convert x as because here you know this gx so i need to convert x as gx so f inverse gx is ln 2 over 5 minus gx and this x also has to be gx so gx is 3 to 5 
So f inverse gx is ln 2 over 5 minus and then this gx is 3 over 1 minus x. Now just calculate, just solve this. When you solve, then you can get ln 2x minus 2 over 5x minus 2. The important point is this part, okay, this part. This part is also important. gx is 3 over 1 minus x. So I, I will take reciprocal. So 3 over 1 will be 1 over 3 and 5 over 1 will be 1 over 5. Of course, 1 over 3 is bigger than 1 over 5, so it will be left side. Now, I will multiply by 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, 3, 3 cancel, 3, 3 cancel, but 3 by 5. Now, I will subtract 1. So, 3 by 5 minus 1 minus 2 by 5, 1 cancel, and 1 minus 1, 0. I will multiply by negative number. So, 0 times minus 1, that's a 0, then, my, then plus x and 2 by 5. So, my domain... is this for f inverse gx right for f inverse gx 0 2.4 i got this condition 0 2.4 and here for gx domain was 0 2.2 so actual domain will be 0 2.2 only because v x should be common of those so f inverse gx is ln 2x minus 2 over 5x minus 2 now question number nine that says all oh, lengths in centimeters and the angles and the radians Mm -hmm. The diagram shows sector A, O, B and C, O, D are same center. Okay, A, O, B is 3 pi by 8. Length of O, C. Okay, this much length is 6.5. It is given that O, A, C. O, A, C and O, B, D are straight lines. O, A ratio O, C. O, A. Okay. And ratio O, C. Is 4 ratio 5 yeah so this is 4 and this is 5 4 ratio 5 so this should be 4 ratio 1 so it's fine this time actually this is 4 and this is 5 right so it should be 4 then 4 ratio 1 so it's fine okay Next is find the perimeter of shaded region. Okay, so perimeter of shaded region, it means this length plus this length plus this arc length plus this arc length. Okay, fine. Now, so it means we need to find AC, but we know that AC length must be equal to BD length, right? Because uh, this length should be equal to this length and this length equals this length. So if subtraction will be also same. Hmm. So now, <clears throat> We can check how to find other stuff so ac a to c yeah ac is one fifth of oc definitely so oc is 6.5 so 1.3 so bd is also 1.3 so ac and bd we got now we need to find oa oa is total ac minus ac so OC minus AC. OC is 6.5. AC is 1.3. That's 5.2. So we got this radius, okay, which is 5.2. Now perimeter of the shaded region. So perimeter of the shaded region, it means, uh, it means here, AC length, okay, this length, arc length CD, okay, and then BD length, okay, and then arc length AB, okay, that's fine. AC length we we already found 1.3 arc length CD which is we know that L is R times theta so this is CD right so radius is 6.5 or OC OC is the radius and theta is 3 pi by 8 so OC times 3 pi by 8 and BD is 1.3 and arc length AB for this we need to find this radius or this radius so R theta so OA theta 3 pi by 8 so 1.3 plus OC was 6.5. So 6.5 times 3 pi by 8, 1.3. OA is 5.2. We already found 3 pi by 8. Just calculate everything. You will get 2.6 plus 351 pi over 80 or 16.38. Now this is B part. That says this is a circle and uh, here this So guys, in this question, there are two centers. One is O. And uh, because of 
O center this circle was formed and next is sector right this is your sector this sector has been formed by considering this R as a center okay hmm. so we need to find area of the shaded region it means we can find area of the circle and we can subtract this area of the sector so the important point is we don't have this length first of all this angle and even we don't have this radius and it is telling find in terms of a and phi only total area of the three shaded regions it means we cannot give our answer in terms of y we need to get y in terms of a and phi okay so these are our challenges which we have to find here okay so <clears throat> If you join this, if you join this, then if this is A, this will be A and this is isosceles triangle, right? So it is phi also. And this is Y, so it will be also Y because of, uh, because this A was, R was the center, right? Center R. Okay, we are about to get that, don't worry. Draw perpendicular, when you draw perpendicular, then it is divided in half. We know the chord property. So now same thing I have drawn here. This is A, this is phi, this is y over two. Okay. And uh, so here I'm trying to use cos theta, like cos of phi. Why it is phi over two? Hey, one minute. It is phi. Why it is phi over two? It should not be phi over two, right? It's unnecessary. It should be phi only. Okay, remove this. Mm, then this will be also wrong then, definitely. Okay. Don't worry, okay? Maybe while solving at that time, I, I might consider something <laughs> in division. Okay, so we are here now. Mm, yeah, we are here. So apply cos in this. When you apply cos phi, right? When you apply cos phi, then this is adjacent over hypotenuse, that is A. So cos phi is y over 2a. So y is 2a cos phi, right? Okay, <clears throat> so I got y finally. So one more time. So cos phi is y over 2 and over a. So y over 2a. So y is 2a cos phi. That's fine. So now I have this I have finally this radius 2a cos phi which is in terms of a and phi so this is fine but my challenge is to find this angle now okay this angle suppose this angle is theta so I have to find this angle this is very important stuff over here so now we are going to find this how we will try to get that just join this here and just join this here so if this is phi this will be phi okay great and if you join this right then if you consider this angle as x then this angle will be also x right now <clears throat> our point is this is y and this is y so this is isosceles triangle right so if these two lengths are same, then this angle and this angle should be same. So if this angle is x plus phi, so this angle should be x plus phi. So x is already there, so it should be phi then. And if it is phi, then again in this triangle, it is isosceles. So if it is phi, then this should be phi, right? 
So now I have this angle phi, this angle phi. So total is 2 phi, which you can see here. Total is 2 phi. Okay. So that's great. Now if I if I draw a circle over here and then like that, where this angle is 2 phi and the radius is 2a cos phi, right? And I have to find this shaded area. Then what I'm going to do, I will find area shaded region or shaded area, area of the circle, like center O. So that is pi r square, which is pi a square, minus area of the sector, right? Area of the sector, we know that 1 over 2 r square theta, okay? Because angles are in radii right so when angles are in radian then this is the formula for the sector 1 over 2 r square theta so this is pi a square minus half r square you know r is 2a cos phi so 2a cos phi whole square and the theta is 2 phi right this was 2 phi 2 and 2 you can cancel so this is pi a square minus 4 a square cos square phi times phi. Okay, then we can take a square common. From here you will get pi minus 4 phi cos square phi. Okay, can we verify this again? Pi a square 1 over 2 r is 2a cos phi. So 2a cos phi whole square, 4a square cos square phi, and 2 to cancel, so this is phi. Now a square and a square I took common, so pi minus 4 phi cos square phi. Yeah, so this should be the answer. Okay. And now come to the next question, which is question number 10. That says, a particle P moves in a straight line such that T seconds after passing a fixed point O, its acceleration is given to you. When t equals 1, velocity of p is 2 and its displacement is 0. So s0 is minus 4 and v1 is 2. This information we have. s0 means displacement when time was 0. Okay, find the velocity. So we know that v is integration of acceleration. So, or how do you remember that? A, you know, dv over dt. So if you write dv is a dt and if you integrate then v is integration of a. By the way, so just integrate. So 60 and 18 e to the power 3 minus t because e cube over e to the power t. So this is e to the power 3 minus t. So if you integrate that 60 and uh, <clears throat> Like that 60 integration 18 so if you integrate 60 integration will be 3t square plus c and uh, 18 e to the power 3 minus t over minus 1 plus c dash because i cannot write c again because c already i have taken now when you put 3 over here uh, no first we have to put 1 because uh, v of 1 is given so put v of 1 you can put over here in this case so 3 1 square plus c which is c minus 1 just put back this c over here which you will get this and this is minus 18 e to the power 3 minus t plus c dash which is greater than 3. Now when you put when you put t equals 3 in this and when you put t equals 3 in this then this will be 3 times 3 square minus 1 and if when you put 3 over here in this okay this 3 here then minus 18 e to the power 3 minus 3 plus c dash why? Because velocity should be same at this 3. That's why. So this is 26 and this is minus 18. So C dash is 44. Just put C dash over here to get velocity. So now we have velocity function. Now we need to find V3. So V3 either you can put here or you can put here. You will get same answer. So V3 will be 26. Just calculate precisely. So now we got V3. Find the displacement. It means displacement. It means we have to integrate now velocity. So 3t square integration is tq minus 1 is t then plus c then this part integration is here you can check. Now again 
S0 is minus 4 because it is given, right? S0 is minus 4. Like when time was 0, then displacement was minus 4. So put 0 here, 0 cube minus 0 plus C. So C is minus 4. Put back. So S, I got this in terms of C dash, okay? Because when T was greater than 3, then it was C dash. I did not find. Now S3. When you put S3 over here, okay, put time, like when you put 3, then you will get 3 cube minus 3 minus 4. That's 20. And when you put 3 over here, then you will get C dash. Okay. Can you put uh, 3 over here? 18 times e to the power 3 minus 3 plus 44 times 3 plus C dash. But when time was 3, then displacement was already 20. So it is 20. So 18 times e to the power 0, which is 1 plus 132 plus C dash equals 20. I think I found here below. Yeah, here. So C dash is minus 130. Okay, so this part, it will be 18 e to the power 3 minus T plus 44 T minus 130. Okay, so what we need to find, find an expression in terms of T for the displacement when time is greater than 3. Okay, that's what we found. Now question number 11 that says the normal to the curve y equals sine for x minus pi at the point a comma 0 where a is this meets y axis at the point b find the exact area of the triangle OAB that's fine. So we need to find equation of normal so first we need to find gradient of the tangent. So we have to differentiate sine differentiation is cos 4x minus pi and x coefficient which we have to multiply. Now put x equals a over here. So gradient of the tangent is 4 times 4a minus pi then gradient of the normal is minus 1 over 4 times cos 4a plus 5 because we know that when lines are perpendicular then second gradient is minus 1 over first gradient so equa uh, gradient of normal we got now equation of line we need to find my line is passing through the point a comma 0 so y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 which is a now for the B point, because our normal is going to meet Y axis somewhere. So on Y axis, we know that X is always zero. So put X equals zero in this equation. So when you put X equals zero here, then minus A times minus one, which is plus A. A over four cos four A minus pi. Now this is your zero O and this is your A a comma zero and this is your b zero comma now area of the triangle we need to find so this length a and this length is a over four cos four a minus pi now area of the triangle you know that half times base times height so this is base this is your height just multiply it together a square over eight cos four a minus pi now the important point is this is area and area cannot be negative so we have to apply mod as well okay now a condition is pi by 2 to pi that's given but we got 4a minus pi so when you apply 4a then it will be 2 pi to pi 2 pi to 4 pi and when you subtract pi then it is pi to 3 pi let us understand pi to 3 pi means pi it means it will start from here okay because this is pi right but it will start from here so pi to 3 pi. So this is pi to 2 pi, then 3 pi. So you know, this is again one complete circle. It starts from here and here. So it's just a complete one circle. So in one complete circle, this is cos, which is I have written in terms of sec. So cos or sec both are positive as well as negative. So your answer can be positive as well as negative area. But area, we know that it should be always positive. That's why we have to apply mod. So this should be your final answer. According to me, this should be the final answer. But when mark scheme will be available, then uh, we can verify as well. But according to me, this should be the right answer. So guys, uh, uh, I explained quickly everything. So you can download this paper from the description and you can solve this and you can verify. And if you think there is any problem, then let me know. We can discuss. I always appreciate my student to discuss, get involved in discussion, okay? Just uh, try to figure out some problems uh, while uh, explanation or if you think that uh, there can be other solution which might be better than the my solution, then you are most welcome. You are most welcome, my dear. So thank you very much. With this note, I'm going to end this video. See you in another video. Thank you very much. And yeah, 
please if you have not subscribed then please subscribe it's very crucial for me uh, and for my motivation for my growth of uh, this youtube channel okay guys thank you very much